All right, you already know what it is, Fourth Quarter Boy Sports. It is me, the illustrious one, Professor Lake. Like the video, hit the notification bell, get notified every time I flip out a video. So, yeah, I know it's late, and, uh, you know, I just had to touch down with you guys, man, because I was just perusing through YouTube and, you know, got sucked into the wormhole that is uh, alien life and uh, meditation and football. But uh, be that as it may... You know, I wanted to talk to you guys about the Olin Crute situation, and I just wanted to set the record straight, you know, with the athletes getting in the media and just kind of like that relationship that goes on after football. Allegedly, Olin Crute attacked a co-worker uh, named Adam Hogue, you know, over some comments that Adam Hogue made allegedly about Sam Mustafer. Now, I'm not sure if that's what it was about, but if that's what it was about, you know, it's a real stupid reason, you know, to lose your job for, that's number one. It's a real stupid reason to, you know, fight a coworker for. So with that being said, you know, just to get a little bit deeper on the situation, you know, just watching Olin Crutes on the podcast, for some reason, you know, the energy, you know, I sensed the tension in the air. I saw that uh, in video. And even though there were times where, you know, Adam Hogue tried to break the ice, uh, you know, you got Nicholas Moriano, you know, a new media member, really proud to see how far he's come and actually establishing himself as uh, one of the media. Tension that was in the air, you know, when Olin would come in and kind of like correct a lot of the opinions that uh, Adam and Nick had because of his experience. And I know they want to err to the side of the person with experience for their knowledge on the game, but I thought that, you know, Olin spent a lot of time uh, nitpicking, you know, with the host, you know, nitpicking with Nick as far as their opinions goes. You know, I think Olin thinks that, you know, what he says is the foundation and law of everything. Looking at his history, I just think that that's been a common theme uh, when it comes to Olin and interacting with people who have any length of time uh, to be around. Him. You know, either you acquiesce to Olin's uh, views and opinions as law or it's a problem. And I think Olin needs to understand that, you know, just because you played O-line in the NFL doesn't mean that you can't be touched. Not saying that you're a scary guy, not saying that you wouldn't pick on anybody bigger than you, but, uh, you know, you and I know that you have much more respect for other guys, uh, and you show it to them that you didn't show, uh, to Adam and Nick. I'm just being honest about it. Now, when I see you on other platforms, you know, you act the part, you know, you do everything correctly, but when it comes to the Bears fans podcast, you know, honestly, I thought that you thought you were above that, and if that's how you felt, maybe we could have got another ball player to come on to the podcast maybe a johnny knox you know bears fans would love to hear from johnny knox just being honest with you we would love to hear from johnny knox bears fans would love to hear from a dennis mckinnon you know just some guys out there that played football that you know know how to get along with others you know and and, and going forward you know here's the big misconception with you know the nfl quote-unquote athlete yeah, you made it to the NFL. Congratulations. But uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you're a rocket scientist. You know, this is a game we've been playing, you know, or you've been blessed to continue to play. But it's a game nonetheless. And uh, let's stop making this into something, you know, like chemistry or physics or I don't know. <laughs> Name some sort of math or algebra class or calculus class us Bear fans probably never passed. You know, you know, we're blue collar, man. You know what I'm saying? We put in work. So with all that being said, we also been to school. We also played on college teams with NFL players. So it's time that we lift the veil and stop pretending that, you know, because you're in the NFL, you happen to know way more about football than anybody else does. The truth is, from the bird's eye view, you could learn a lot about the sport. You could learn a lot about the nuances. You could learn a lot about different players you might not even come in contact with. But we see them play football every Sunday. We could watch any game that we want to watch, and we can compare players. And when it comes to Sam Mustafer, yeah, he stepped in, played a righteous role when he had to step in. But last season, he was getting ragdolled. 
You know it, and I know it. And if this isn't about Sam Mustafer, don't get your panties in a bunch. And again, you know, you're talking to somebody who's played the game, just like a lot of the fans out here with podcasts, just like a lot of the guys out here cutting up film. We've played the game, we know the game, we watch the game. So Olin, you know, as much as I hate to go there with you, you know, I'm just saying, man, you need to give out a public apology to Adam. You really do, man. You may have your opinions, Adam has his opinions, but you know, by no means does that give you the right to put hands on Adam Hope. You know, I I can tell by his energy, he's a little, he's a little perturbed by the news, irritated, you know, you know, and he's still coming out and doing his job. And I think, you know, I think that's a testament to Chris Rock. You know, I think he showed a lot of people who speak on public platforms how to handle adversity. I'm not going to go overboard on on Olin, you know, we all love you Olin, you know what I'm saying, we know that you got a bad temper, but we still mess with you man, but you really owe Adam an apology man, because you know, let's say Adam was an ex-football player, let's just say he had an opposite opinion of you, how far are you willing to go, and secondly, have you met your match yet, have you met your match, because it's my guess that you haven't run into that guy that's going to overlook the fact that you were in the NFL and, you know, hit you in the face. You know, it's not really a fight till you get hit. With that in mind, those are my two cents on the Olin Crutes, Adam Hogue, alleged debacle, confrontation. Adam Hogue, I can shake your hand, I'll shake your hand. You're a good guy. Don't agree with everything that you say. Sometimes I think you're misinformed. But, uh, you know, it's not that serious. It's not rocket science. We're not saving the world. This is football. And on that note, it is your boy, the illustrious one, Professor Lake, signing out. Going to bed. Night, night.